Hi, the Mud Broker here. Looks like my old friend Michael Pearl's getting a bit touchy in his old age. Recently, a website called everythingisterrible.com posted a video of one of Michael Pearl's child training sessions both on their website and on their YouTube channel. Mikey didn't like that video because it shows the unvarnished truth of the things he says and does when he feels that it's safe to do so because he's surrounded by true believers and his followers. So, No Greater Joy Ministries filed a DMCA claim against both the website and the YouTube channel, claiming copyright infringement and had the video taken down. I'm not about to let Michael Pearl get away with that kind of bullshit, and since I have a copy of the video right here on my desktop, I'm going to post it here as soon as I get done talking to you. I'm also going to ask that you mirror the video far and wide and put the Streisand effect to good use against Michael Pearl and his child abuse empire. But before you mirror this video, understand that you may be DMCA'd for it. If you don't think the risk is worth taking, don't do so, but I'm still going to encourage you to do so anyway. Well, without further ado, here is Michael Pearl. The mother needs to understand if she takes away her husband's authority, even by a face, even by making like a pitiful look appeal to her husband, she is taking away all authority from that child's life. If that child is going to have authority, mother, you got to let that man be the authority. All right, we're back for question and answer time. I've got my little lady. This is my first wife I brought with me tonight. Does it look like a man's writing or a woman's? Man's. Man's? Tell your wife to slap you. She looked up and saw that camera. She got up and dusted herself off. <laughs> look at her. She turned red in the face. We just stood there and ridiculed her. They have to really turn red in the face and pass out or something. We had a kid there in the church who kept coming and had these black spots all over his head. Just, just kept <laughs> you use it to control people. When it stops controlling people, they stop doing it. What's the next question? Punish him with the rod severely. That's what you do to screamers around here. If you have fun, it'll be a lot easier training. Feel like a winner. You get five licks for being mean. You get five more for lying. You're going to see who's lying. I'm going to get this rod. If he screams too hard with the first five, gets hysterical, wait. You know, a little psychological terror is sometimes more effective than the pain. Thumping him on the head? You're worried about that? Give me another question. We talked about that. Carry him home and, and train him. Give me another one. Father who will not take his part in discipline, when he does discipline, it's out of anger. Make love to him. If your husband is an angry man, make love. Get rid of his frustration. Make him happy. All right, another question. Sweetie pie. <laughs> when using the rod as a training tool, how hard should the reinforcement be? What? Another guy wrote me, he had two kids, uh, 12 and 13 years old, they were fussing and fighting. He made them hold hands and run across the street to the other side, touch the house on the other side and come back. They got outside and hid in the bushes holding hands. Now that might not be too strange in San Francisco, but that'd be real weird where they live. Because it's the man who determines the course of the house. So I give him five more, say now get up. Still got a bad attitude, get up. I'm gonna say, you're still crying, I'm going to give you something to cry about. You may have quit drinking, you may have quit fornicating, but I know, a lot of, I know a lot of Muslims that have quit all of that. The prison is full of black Muslims that quit eating meat, quit smoking, quit drinking, and quit fornicating. And all they do now is gang up in gangs and kill white people. 